Hi friends, so glad to see you back. Today we're joined by my longtime friend, Lamb Chop. How are you today, Lamb Chop? Oh my good, very good. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we're happy you're here too, Lamb Chop. You know, friends, I keep Lamb Chop on a bookshelf near my desk so that I can look over and see her and her cheerful face. And sometimes lamb chop is really a nice reminder to me that if I get distracted, I get lost in thought, I can get right back on track. Little lambs have a reputation for kind of getting distracted and wandering off. And I do that with my thoughts sometimes. Hey, lamb chop, have you ever gotten distracted and wandered off? Oh, yes many times because I start chasing the butterflies or looking at the silly squirrels and I forgot what I was doing next thing you know. Everyone else has gone ahead of me and there I am almost. Oh, that must be distressing to feel lost. Well, usually I find my way back to the rest of the sheep. Well, that's a good thing. Well, you know, Lamb Chop, when I look over at you on my bookshelf, and I'm being not focused on my work or, or what I need to get accomplished, there is some mudra and some breathing that I do that helps me get focused and get back on track. Oh, I like that. I like mudra. You know what, let's demonstrate this mudra and this breathing today for our friends at home. Is that a good idea? Oh yes, very good idea, very good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. A lot of times, this mudra I'm going to demonstrate is done with both hands, but you can just do it with one hand. So today, I'm just going to do it with one hand, and that's my left hand. This mudra, friends, is called kubera, and to do it, you just put up your pointer finger and your tall finger, and you press them against your thumb with your other two fingers curled in towards your palm. Then. The breathing I like to do with this mudra when I'm distracted or a little bit lost is what's known as flower breathing. Oh, flower breathing. I want to do that. I love flowers. Okay, I'm tough. You can help us do flower breathing. To do flower breathing, you simply inhale through your nose. I like to imagine it as though I'm sniffing a beautiful flower. And instead of exhaling through your lips, you exhale right back through your nose. And I like to do three of these to a count of six. Inhale to a count of six. Exhale to a count of six. Hey, Lamb Chop, do you think you can do that with us? Oh, I want to try, yes. Okay, well, let's try. All right, do you have your Kubera? And let's begin. Yes, and you can do this breathing and this mudra just as frequently as you would like and as many repetitions as you would like. Well, what do you think, Lamb Chop? Do you think that might help you get focused if you get distracted? I do. I'm going to remember kubira and flower breathing. Friends, I hope sometime today, tonight, tomorrow, whenever, you feel like you're a little off track, a little scattered, a little distracted, you'll remember this mudra and this breathing. Well, hey, Lamb Chop, you know what? It's time for us to say goodbye to our friends at home. Would you like to say goodbye? Oh, I'm like, bye-bye, friends. Stay focused. You try and do that, Lamb Chop. Friends, Lamb Chop and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. But we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.